Hello friend, welcome to the chemistry with fun. Now we have discussed the difference between the crystalline and amorphous solid. Now the first one is the crystalline solid and now the second one is the amorphous solid. Now the first point in the case of crystalline solid, the atoms are arranged in a regular three dimensional way. But in the case of amorphous solid, the atoms are arranged in irregular arrangement. Now we see in the picture here. Here we see that all the atoms are arranged in a regular manner. There is no further space between them. Here all the atoms are arranged in a regular way. Now, but in the case of amorphous solid, we see below here that the atoms are arranged. The atoms are arranged in irregular manner. Atoms are arranged in irregular manner. Here we see that atoms are arranged in random way. Here is very higher space, where is more space between them. Now we see the next point in the case of crystalline solid. Here the, in the case of crystalline solid, they have a sharp melting point. It means they have a high melting point. But in the case of amorphous solid, they have no particular melting point. In the case of crystalline solid, they are anisotropic in nature. It means that their physical property like electrical resistance or refractive index so different value along with a different direction. But in the case of isotropic, but in the case of amorphous solid, it is isotropic in nature. Their properties such as mechanical strength, refractive index, electrical conductivity are same in all direction. In the case of crystalline solid, they are true solid its mean it is rigid in nature but in the case of amorphous solid it is a pseudo solid or super cold liquid its mean that they have a tendency to flow very slowly but in the case of crystalline solid they are symmetrical in nature now in the case of amorphous solid they are unsymmetrical in nature now further in the case of crystalline solid they have a long range order and now further in the case of amorphous solid they have a short range order now we discuss the some example of crystalline solid is here the first one is the sodium chloride and next one is a potassium nitrate and next one is a copper sulfate quartz etc but in the case of amorphous solid the example is that the glass rubber plastic, quartz, glass and gel. It is very deeply discussed. Here was <clears throat> if you like the video please like the please like the video and please share the video and also subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.